In this video, we'll look at the graphical tools in the Showalter State Ribbon in Tecla Structural Designer. Most people are graphical learners, and it can be difficult to interpret information in a large table with a lot of data. The Showalter State Ribbon has a series of tools to help graphically review, validate, and revise the model. A few of the more commonly used commands will be listed in the main ribbon. Take some time to look over the options and what information they provide. A few of these will be discussed further in this video. Auto Check Design allows you to quickly view what members are set to auto design and what members have sizes assigned. For those with sizes, the program will perform a design check on the next design run. If you want the program to pick a new size, then simply click or draw a window over the members to toggle to auto design. Note for all of these show alter state commands, review the properties window for more information on working with the views. Each command will be different, but most provide options for setting on, off, toggling, and other information. Diaphragm on off is an important tool when working with rigid diaphragms. You can remove entire slabs from the diaphragm to create two distinct rigid diaphragms. You can also remove specific nodes from the diaphragm to define a drag strut or when working with floor trusses to get axial forces in the cords. The fixed pin command color codes the end fixities of all the members in the model. Here you can not only review the fixities, but also quickly apply end fixities to the members. You can set different fixities for each end of a member by clicking on the end or for the member as a whole. These commands can be used in any view and some may be more appropriate in a 2D floor plan. The slab reinforcement command allows you to graphically view and easily modify the reinforcing in your cast in place slabs. The section command is a quick and visual way to consolidate section sizes on a project. This will show you color coded all the section sizes on a given view. You can then consolidate the sizes by selecting a source beam and then clicking on other members to change that to the same size. The report filters will be grayed out until you manually create a filter. To do this, go to the Report ribbon, click on the Member Filter. Here you can add as many filters as needed for your project. Back in the Review ribbon, you can now select the filter and graphically select members to place in that filter. Filters can then be used to streamline reports or other information that you may want to export out of Tecla Structural Designer. Substructures allows you to create smaller or unique views of your model. And this is especially helpful when working with large models where it can be difficult to manage an area within the larger structure. For example, you can create a substructure of only the lateral framing members. Once members are placed within the substructure, the individual view can be opened. You can model, review results, and even design just this substructure. They can also be used as a filter in reports and other tabular data within TSD. Property sets and UDAs are a great way to group similar members and view them color-coded via these groups. The show alter state command basically combines all previous commands plus more into a single location. In the properties window, you can toggle through what information you want displayed. You'll find additional commands here that are not in the main ribbon. So for example, the gravity only command can be used to see which members will be designed as gravity only. Here you can quickly toggle members to gravity only if needed. This is especially helpful for interior members that are not part of a lateral force resisting system. Toggling them to gravity only will reduce the overall design time. The SRFS will show you color coded the seismic force resisting types currently in the model. These members will be design checked for any additional seismic provisions per the AISC code. Within this view, we can also quickly add members to a seismic force resisting system. Finally, another helpful tool is the sway drift check. Here you can see which columns will be checked for wind drift. You can also set the wind drift limits. Input a limit, and graphically the program will show you which members currently have that limit set and which do not. Then, graphically you can set the limit to additional columns as needed. As you can see, there are several other tools that make reviewing and managing the model easy through the graphical interface. That brings us to the end of this brief video on the Showalter State Ribbon and Tecla Structural Designer.